everybody, welcome to the channel. I'm Don. This is fun. I'm doing a reaction to Cal Smith, whom I've reacted to before. The Lord knows I'm drinking. I don't know if this is going to be a sad song, a funny song. I never know going in. It's a true reaction. And Jeff Tappen, you requested this, my friend. So shout out to you. Thank you for that. So let me, uh, oh, you know what? I should probably tell you guys about this. Some folks have asked me, like, how do you donate and all this? And I'm always humbled by this when people do. Or, how do I make a song request, donate for a song request? The information's in the description box below. But anyway, Jeff Tappen, here we go with Cal Smith's The Lord Knows I'm Drinking. <laughs> oh, my God. Up tempo, there you go. Hello, Mrs. Johnson. Oh. You self righteous woman. Oh, no. Oh. Sunday school teacher. What brings you out slumming? Do you reckon the preacher would approve where you are? Standing here visiting with a backsliding Christian in a neighborhood bar. Well, yes, that's my bottle. And yes, that's my glass. And I see your eyeballing this pretty young lass. It ain't none of your business. But yes, she's with me And we don't need no sermon You self-righteous woman Just let us be The Lord knows I'm drinking The Lord knows I'm drinking And running around And running around <laughs> They brought in the backing vocalist as though it's the choir. That's how I... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if they meant it that way, but uh, there's a good chance that that's what. Holy crap! I don't know where they're going with this. This is an interesting song because the music, the way it's set with the drum, doesn't really fit with the type of lyrics. So it's this contrast that's going on. But that's what the song is about. It's about contrast, and they're emblematizing that or depicting it in the in the setup. Of the instruments itself. And he don't need your loud mouth informing the town. The Lord knows I'm sinning. The Lord knows I'm sinning. And sinning ain't right. And sinning ain't right. But me and the good Lord gonna have us a good talk later tonight. <laughs> Be honest. It's a circus feel to it. Goodbye, Mrs. Johnson. You self-righteous biddy. Biddy. I don't need your preaching. And I don't need your pity. So go back to whatever you hypocrites do. And when I talk to heaven, be nice and I'll put in a good word for you. Harper Valley PTA type stuff. The Lord knows stuff. I'm drinking. The Lord knows I'm drinking. And running around. And running around. And he don't need your loud mouth informing the town. The Lord knows I'm sinning. The Lord knows I'm sinning. And sinning. I would have loved to have heard Loretta sing this one or put her touch to it and remake this song too and see what she would have done because she's way more direct. This was fairly direct, but it was sort of soft step in it because he's talking to a woman and you want to have that sense of decorum historically. And I still believe in that. But she's out there drinking and being a hypocrite and, and all this stuff. And uh, 
Yeah, I don't know what Loretta would have done with this, but she would have gone Fist City type stuff. Okay. Whoa, boy, oh boy. Yeah, the hypocrisy he was talking about. It's like, you're out here slumming, you're drinking, that's your bottle over there, and you know what? And you're going to judge me? I don't judge anybody for them. I, I'll tell you, I judge people's behavior. I don't like mean-spiritedness. Uh, I like kindness. That goes hand in hand. But other than that, I don't care whether if someone believes in God or not. It's not my business. It's like, if you're kind or if you even just don't bother me, I'm just cool with that. Who am I to say what you're supposed to believe or think? Just don't be a jerk. But this woman coming at him a bit as an hypocrite. Hypocrisy is just ugly. It's like, do you even take a look in the mirror and see that like you're saying you're doing the same stuff you're decrying out there? But we all know that story. All right. I love Cal Smith's voice. I love his delivery. I'm going to guess he didn't write this song. Uh, I'm just going to guess that. I don't know why. It didn't sound like a perfect fit for him, but he sang it well, of course. But in the you can't write every song that you... Well, you could, but most have other people's songs that they sing and perform. Jeff Tappan. What am I going to rate that song? The number that hit me was an 8.5. It was a good song. It was a fun song. It had some nice elements in it. There were probably some that I didn't even pick up on. I have no doubt about it. But the, the, the chorus part of it just cracked me up, as you saw, because it seemed like... They were bringing in like the chorus, the, the church choir to sing back up. I mean, that imagery in my head on that one was just too much to take. And it also had a circus-like feel to it, which you could see that the whole thing was almost circusy. The whole theme of it was. So there it is. All right, Jeff, thank you very much, my friend. Shout out again to you. Have a great day, folks. I'll see you in another video. Keep rocking a country.